الحمد للہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین ولاقبۃ المتقین و صلاۃ وسلام و علیہ اشرف المبیا ولمسلین و علیہ محمد و علیٰ آرحی و اصحابہ اجمعین علیہ یوم دین اما بعد قول اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ فی القرآن مجید و الفرقان الحمید اعود بلّہ من الشیطان الواجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم فمن عفا و اصلاح فاجر اللہ ان لا يحب الظالمین ٹوڈے اور ٹاپک از میکنگ پیس بٹوین ایچ ادر فور گیونس معاف کر دینا کسی کو دس از آور ٹاپک ٹوڈے فسٹ ول اسٹارٹ ود دا کانسیپٹ آف اچیونگ ریوارڈس یو نو ان دس دنیا ون ایور یو گو اینڈ یو ڈو سم تھنگ گڈ یو اچیو ریوارڈس یو ورکنگ فار سم کمپنی اور یو پلینگ گیمز لیٹس یو پلینگ گیمز یو اچیو ریوارڈس ون ایور ون ایور یو ڈو سم تھنگ گڈ یو اچیو ریوارڈس یو آر پلینگ فٹ بال یو اچیو ریوارڈس اینی گیم یو پلینگ یو ورکنگ فار اے کمپنی آف کورس یو ورک آل دیٹ منتھ اینڈ اینڈ آف دا منتھ دے سی یور ہارڈ ورک اینڈ دے گیو یو ریوارڈ ان ان اے ان سیلری یور ویج دے گیو یو بیکاز دس یور ریوارڈ سیم گوز ان اسلام از ویل اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہیز سلیکٹڈ سم تھنگ اینڈ پٹ سم تھنگ ان دس دنیا سو مینی تھنگس دیٹ وین یو ڈو دوز تھنگس اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ گیو یو ریوارڈس فار دیٹ دس دس دا کانسیپٹ یو ریڈ نماز اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ ہیز ریوارڈ فار یو دا ریوارڈ یو گیٹ ان دس دنیا فار ادر تھنگس یو سی دا میٹریلسٹک وے ان بیسکلی سے منی یو ول گیٹ اٹ او گیمز یو پلینگ یو گیٹ اٹ اٹ از گون دین بٹ دا ریوارڈ یو گیٹ اسلامیکلی فرام اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ یو کین ناٹ فزیکلی سی دیٹ بٹ یو ول اچیو دیٹ آن دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ دیٹ ول ہیلپ یو گوئنگ ان جنا کوکلی اینڈ اٹ ول ریز یو ان اے ہائر رینکس اسلامک لائز لائک اے کمپنی اللہ از دا باس Muslims are the employees and they have to sign a contract to become an employee and Shahada is the contract. Anyone who reads Shahada, he has signed the contract, he comes in that company. Now whatever he does, he will be achieving rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you have not signed that contract, no matter how much nimaz you read, you go for hajj because nowadays even non-Muslims can go as well to Makkah. So you're doing hajj, you're doing umrah, you're reading nimaz, you're fasting, nothing is counted. Yes, Allah says we will give them reward in this dunya if they are doing something good to other people. If they're doing good with the humanity, we'll give them reward. But in akhirah, in hereafter, they will have no reward. But as soon as you sign a contract, whatever you do, everything is counted. Subhanallah. Because we're talking about making peace between each other. First of all, we need to understand that psychologically, how gaps are created between two minds lack of understanding it increases gaps between two minds because of misunderstanding because of emotional disconnection because of too much expectations because of course when you were you know forgiveness kicks in your life when you see someone or you made mistake what is mistake when you are expecting your husband that It is my birthday today when he comes home, he's going to, of course, he's going to bring something for me. He's going to wish me happy birthday or anniversary or something. But he comes home after his work and he totally forgot. No, you are sitting here waiting for him to wish you and that he totally forgot. According to you, he made a mistake. According to him, he never made a mistake. This is where argument starts. How fight has started because of expectations. Emotional disconnection. Emotionally, you are attached with your husband. Emotionally, you are attached with your wife, but he or she is emotionally not attached with you. So you are expecting again so much, but he is not giving you according to your expectations. Miscommunication, fight is going on in a house. You want him or her to talk, sit down and talk, finish this fight. But he is just trying to ignore all that situation. You know, when you see there is a problem in your car, a small squeaky noise, and if you don't fix it, that small problem is going to lead to something big or your roof is leaking from one place in one corner and you know if i don't fix it what's going to happen it's going to create a very big problem then you will quickly call builders and you're going through all the stress but when it comes to our home you know family problems we don't try to fix we try try to ignore you know remember if you try to ignore it's going to happen same what will happen to your roof this small problem will lead to big problems sit down and communicate Sit down and do something what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us advice. And what advice? The ayat I read at the start, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَمَنْ عَفَا وَأَصْلَحَ As I said, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has left something in this dunya, many things that if you do, Allah will give you reward. And there are two things I will mention if you do, look what reward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you. Allah says, فَمَنْ عَفَا وَأَسْلَحَا فَأَجْرُهُ عَلَى اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ ظَالِمِينَ First, let me give you simple translation of this ayat. Then we will go in depth, inshallah. That how beautifully Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained how to make peace between two minds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Whoever forgives and reforms or reunites between two people or between each other, then his ajr, his reward is upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has undertaken his reward Certainly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like unjust people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like oppressors. Now let's go in this ayat. Subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first he used the word man. Man is used for anyone. Man is used for female, man is used for male. So if, even if you are daughter-in-law, you are mother-in-law, you are father, you are child, you are employee, you are employer, or you are, let's say, committee member of the masjid, or the two committees, or you are volunteer, or anything you do in, in your life, whoever you are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, man, basically, ayyukum, any one of you, whoever does what? Afa. Now, afa means forgiving. What is the definition of forgiving according to Islam? That you let that person go unpunished. What we do? We first go and talk to the whole world about that person, we disrespect that person, we degrade that person, or we, we first go and talk to him, of course, fighting with him, and all that situation we go, go, goes on and on and on for one month, and then after that I said, I'm going to forgive the person. No, this does not call that for, you give you forgiving that person. You never forgave the person. You took your revenge. So you will never get no reward. That I'm forgiving the person now after doing all that harm to him, and then you're saying, Yolo, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going to forgive the person. No. You let that person go unpunished. This is called forgiving. Now, forgiveness. Remember, it is not easy to do. For some people, forgiveness, forgiveness is a process. For some people, it is very easy to forgive. And for some people, it is very hard to forgive. Depends what happened to you and who did it to you. There are steps to forgive people. First, you deal with your emotions because you hurt, you are, your feelings are hurt. First, you go and sort your hurt feelings out. How? Call that person, talk to him, tell me, why did you do that? Before you forgive him, you, you know, cancer, first you have to take the cancer out and then you can treat the body. So, this hate and anger, this feeling, what is that? That is a cancer. Take that out first and then you can forgive other person. If you have that feeling inside, you have grudge against your wife, you have grudge against your husband, you have grudge against your father, your mother or anyone and you are trying to forgive the person, that's not forgiveness because the grudge is still there. Call that person, talk to the person, get rid of all the misconceptions and then you talk to the person, then say, right, I am going to forgive you now. And after forgiveness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the second thing you have to do, what? Man afa is done. Whoever forgives, wa aslaha. Second thing, and reform your relationship. Reunite with that person. Place things in order. That's what it means. In dictionary, in Arabic dictionary, means aslaha. Sulah karlena. Place everything together in its place. That it's not like, Tika, I'm doing sulah with you, but I'm not going to talk to you. But what sulah is that? I'm doing sulah with you, but I'm not living in this house with you. If your husband's wife, what sulah is that? Sulah is placing things together by stepping into your present rather than getting stuck, staying stuck in your past. That why did that happen? Why did that happen? You're all are thinking about your past. That most of the people, you know, we what we do, we stay always in our past. Why my mom said that to me? Why my dad said that to me? Why my wife did this to me? We always stay stuck in the past. Why don't you go to the person and talk to him? He says that forgiveness is giving up the hope that the past could be any different. That's a psychological fact. That forgiveness is giving up the hope that the past could be any different. And exact same thing Rasulullah says. SubhanAllah says, Quran and Hadith is a full psychology. Talks about your inside. Nafsiyat. Rasulullah says, Wa in asabaka shayun. When something happens to you, 
something bad happens to you some trouble falls upon you you go through some trouble and so the fala taqul law anni fa'altu kana kaza wa kaza that if i had not done that if i had not got married to this person if i had not bought this car if i had not moved to this country if i had not started this job if i was not married to this girl or this man then life could be different rasulullah said never say that what you supposed to be saying wala kin kul qaddar allah it was already decreed by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ma sha'a fa'ala that what he had decided he did it he did what he decided so it was already written in my life maybe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to teach me something maybe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to teach someone else through our situation or maybe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to make me more strong or maybe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to test me because all those people if you look back in your history those are close to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah test them through these through your apne through your close ones rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam through his uncle ibrahim alaihi salam through his chacha uncle because he used to produce uh, not just he was idol worshiping he used to make idols nuh alaihi salam through his son who became stayed kafir lut alaihi salam through his wife ha huh? Adam alayhi salam through his uh, sons Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala test you so this is what you're supposed to be thinking that whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided Allah did it that's fine I'm going to stay quiet and I'm not going to complain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you say lo anni if that had happened if I had not sent my son to this place and he would not get stabbed and he would not died if I kept him home it would be better Rasulullah said don't say if because fa inna law and if you say law law means if that happen if this if that taftahu amal ash-shaytan you will open the doors for shaitan to come to you because shaitan will come to you yeah see your wife said that why did she say that to you and mom's thinking that why did i send my son to that shop and he got stabbed or something accident happened or something i wish i had not sent him well remember qadr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that the person who has come in this dunya he has to leave this dunya too and the time is already written if that had not happened then something else would have happened to him even if he was home mouth comes on his time not one second before not one second after that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in quran so always say chalo theek hai das wine whatever happened it happened and subhanallah what a peace in this statement allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah wants to give our mind peace and contentment that don't think about what happened in past it happened it happened whatever was supposed to be falling upon you it was meant for you this is the hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when something was going to fall upon you but it never fall upon you you never went through the difficulty it was never meant for you don't think oh i just got saved no it was never meant for you you are going through some difficulty and you are going through some trouble that was meant for you it had to come or come in your life you had to go through this difficulty to just learn lessons why am i going through this difficulty why i maybe i've done something in my life that's the reason it is happening to me or maybe allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing me but never say that if that happened and that would happen no there is no if you're opening this uh, doors for shaitan and then you will go back to the person why did you do that huh? i told you it's my birthday today how come you never remember Huh? If you had not gone to that work, you could have come home. If that had not happened, you could have come home. Now there's a beautiful day. You both could have sat together and enjoy your day. But because of that, if you ruined your day, or maybe next two days you'll be fighting. Such a beautiful day, you ruined it. You know, I get phone calls. People give divorce on birthdays and anniversaries. To be honest, why? Because Shaitan does not want you to stay happy. He does not want to see you that you are in a happy relationship. you in a good relationship he doesn't want to see that because his job is he got kicked out because of adam alaihi salam because of humans he does not want you to stay together and happy and he knows this is the day they both are going to be really happy he, they both are going to make allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so happy when, when husband and wife are very happy or any human beings when they are very happy allah sends blessings upon those two humans and al shaitan doesn't want that he's already got the plan that what i'm going to do on that day i'm going to make him go this side make him go this side make him forget that's it to be honest i always say to my wife i said Shaitan always look for a weak link. You know, when uh, in cyber security they they teach that when some something got attacked, virus, while people when they hack something, they look for a weak link. 
that in a car they normally get through the radio or some audio system nowadays brakes are bluetooth as well they try to get through the wherever they see weak link they want to get in the car then they destroy your car your whole car is under their control this is the mentality and psychology of shaitan he wants to get in your house and he sees who's the weak link wife is the weak link son is the weak link or is the uncle or uncle or auntie whoever you're living together or husband is the weak link if he's a dad that's the weak link let's get through him or let's get through her once i'm in now i'm gonna break the fight now husband has come home and he knows everything is perfectly fine but wife is going off and off and off that this is what happened no don't help shaitan breaking your house help yourself to save your house next how you can reform your relationship sit down together set boundaries this is so important that look when you say certain things i don't like that so that you he knows that he should not be crossing that boundaries maybe for him it's a normal thing for you it's a big thing and he tells you that look you should not be crossing these boundaries because i don't like it you should not be going here you should not be going that you should not be doing this you should not be saying your mood swings and all that stuff don't do that because i don't like it maybe for you it's a normal thing so you are not even thinking it's mistake but for him or for her it's a big thing sit down set boundaries this is so important again everything comes back to communication but in our asian community i don't know there is no communication in our asian community is just one thing imam saab i'm earning money for her i don't smoke i don't drink why she's not happy she's not happy because you don't talk to her huh you need to go and talk to her when you come from work she's home if she's a housewife you need to take her out bond make a strong bond with her and she should be making strong bond with him with him how are you going to make strong bond all that day you was at work she was home watching television you come home and you jump on television now don't want disturb me because i need to watch news you want to become the next prime minister ha ghar ke halat theek nahi hote chale pakistan se hi karne apna ghar theek nahi hota aur ja rahe hain pata nahi ya pakistan hi ho gaya ji india mein ye ho gaya yaar apne ghar nu to tak ha चार बंदे तुमसे संभालने नहीं होते और चलिए तुम सारी दुनिया को ठीक करने के लिए रिफॉर्मेशन स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम द सर्कल अराउंड यू देन यू गो आउट द बिगर सर्कल बिगर सर्कल बिगर सर्कल इफ यू कान इवन रिफॉर्म योर हाउस यू कान इवन यू नाइट विद योर वाइफ यू कान सोल्व योर चिल्ड्रन आउट एंड योर वाइफ आउट एंड योर हाउस प्रॉब्लम वट काइंड मैन यू आर आई ऑलवेज ए मैन इज द की पर्सन इन अ हाउस बिकॉज रिमेंबर वुमेन आर इमोशनली दे आर वेरी वेरी वीक it's not a default in them no allah made them like that emotionally they start crying quickly they're very sensitive men are strong physically and emotionally you can control the problem if you come home and she says why okay this is what is happening at home why you forgot so okay that's fine that's okay no matter what she's saying so what are you bigger than umar radhiyallahu anhu umar radhiyallahu anhu wife was shouting at hazrat umar radhiyallahu anhu and he stayed quiet and listened to her he came out some one of the sahabi was listening he said ya umar you why he said she is the one who left her parents for me when i go on wars battles she is the one who makes dua for me oh allah send my husband home safely she is the one who cooks food for me she is the one who who, who get my clothes ready and if she can shout at me so what can i take that this is umar radhi allah taala this is how you can reunite now once allah subhanahu wa taala says you done afa wa aslaha you have forgiven that person and you are reunited now both are you are together what did i say allah subhanahu wa taala love these people who reunites after let's say they break up or after whatever when they reunite allah love them so much allah subhanahu wa taala says the one who forgives and he reunites fa ajruhu ala allah as soon as you forgive and as soon as you reunite straight at that second allah subhanahu wa taala will give you ajr at that there is no delay basically allah subhanahu wa taala is mawjood there when you were communicating allah subhanahu wa taala was there subhan how big thing is and allah subhan never said fa ajruhu ala rahman fa ajruhu ala ala rahim ala al ghafur he never used his quality name he used his personal name he said personally i will give you this reward that personally it is upon me this is how much allah subhan wa taala loves when people they love each other when they forgive each other ajr of allah subhan wa taala is that allah will send barakah in your house so ajr is not just he's going to give you in akhirah everything Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala will give you barakah in this dunya as well in your sustenance in your house in your family and then akhira comes what a harmful impact if you don't forgive uh, other Now, psychological effects i'm telling you subhanallah just like with anything in life there are cost to your choices 
Staying angry and revengeful comes at a price. All these feelings can have a damaging and harmful impact on your physical and emotional health as well as your relationship. What are the benefits of forgiving each other and making peace with each other? Subhanallah, you listen to these psychological facts and I'm amazed that Subhanallah, psychology, science is proving Quran and science is proving Subhanallah are these. Psychologically, people with a higher level of forgiveness are more healthier and they don't suffer from depression and anxiety and they are associated with healthy white blood cells immune system is more strong what immune system does white blood cells are an integral part of fighting of disease and infection the more depression you have the more it kills your white cells basically your immune system becomes more and more weak your anger your depression your anxiety makes you more weaker from your uh, physically and internally as well so whenever you've got some disease because no white cells left a body cannot fight back and you, you go into that state that you become more uh, physically weak now it says that these results highlights the importance of forgiveness not for the person but for yourself so try to forgive each other not for other person but for yourself for your own health